Hi friends, today we'll explain you the difference between an IP camera and analog CCTV camera in the simplest way we can. We'll start by comparing them to a vintage or you can say a film camera and a digital camera. When using a film camera, one needs to develop the roll in order to see the images. The pictures cannot be seen immediately as opposed to a digital camera. Developing a film needs lots of stuff like chemicals, warm water, dark room, etc. And it's a lot of work. Now this is something like using analog CCTV cameras. Whereas in a digital camera, pictures captured can be viewed immediately and can be transferred to a computer using USB or a memory card. An IP camera captures images the same way as any digital camera. What makes it different is its ability to compress files and transfer them to a computer or internet. Let's see some of the major differences between these cameras starting with picture quality. Analog CCTV cameras are connected to a DVR which stands for Digital Video Recorder using coaxial cable which converts the analog signal to a digital signal and these cameras give low resolution images. On the other hand, IP cameras are connected to a NVR which stands for Network Video Recorder using Ethernet cable. IP cameras transmits digital signal and gives high resolution images. Second difference is something called as communication. Analog cameras can only transfer information to DVR and this is known as one-way communication. Whereas IP cameras can transfer and receive information from remote computer over internet and this is called as two-way communication. This picture explains in the most simplest form the meaning of one-way and two-way communication. A two-way communication simply means that the users can interact with the video footage. For example, store owners can supervise what is happening in their absence. With a home surveillance IP camera, parents can keep an eye on their kids when they are outside the home. IP cameras enable remote viewing to anyone connected to the network without compromising on the security. Next difference is cabling. In a traditional analog DVR setup, each camera must be connected to the DVR by using coaxial cable. Each camera is powered by plugging in the power supply. Monitors for viewing the video are then connected to the DVR using the Ethernet cable. Whereas IP cameras use switches which allow cameras in close proximity to each other to be connected to a single switch which then runs a single Ethernet wire to the NVR. This reduces the amount of cabling runs which makes it ultimately less labor intensive and allows you to connect more cameras because you are no longer limited by the number of ports on your DVR. Another reason why IP cameras are becoming so popular these days are because of their ability to store video to an attached memory card. Most of the IP cameras have built-in memory card slot. Users can live stream or even play back the recorded video from remote area over internet by using computer or even smartphones. This is done by using softwares which will be provided by the manufacturers. These are various MX IP cameras with built-in USB option where users can connect pen drive to record and save video. To conclude, instead of transmitting video over a video cable to a monitor or DVR, an IP camera transmits digital video over data connection that are Ethernet, USB, Wi-Fi, etc. Everything required to transfer images over the network is built into the unit. It is connected directly to the network just like any other network device like a printer or scanner.